Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. So guys, as you know, the Freightliner has released for American Truck Simulator and also the Western Star. I did not have time to make videos on those trucks. I know it will be a little bit late, but I will be making a video on them. Uh, today though, we're in the Peterbilt 389 SCS. We're using a new sound mod, guys. Uh, this mod, uh, it doesn't change your engine. It's the default engines, but it gives it better sound. Uh, the only problem that I don't think I don't like about it is all the engines sound the same for every truck. It, some some of the trucks that it's, uh, it says has out should not have the engine sounds that they have. So that's that's one downside to the mod, but it does sound better than the um, default sounds for some of these trucks. So we got 518 miles. Yeah, we gotta stop and get fuel on the way. We're heading down to Arizona. We got fertilizer. Let's do. This. So let's go on the road. And it is snowing. Yeah, we're very low on fuel. Go ahead and put that away. We got our passenger again. We got our daughter back here in the back. She's reading a book. She's on the phone. Hoping this weather will move out, guys. I did turn it down, so hopefully it'll move out of here. We are using Frosty's Winter Weather Mod. Um, I'm not using the, um, well, the, the slick part of the mod where the roads are really slick and stuff. I'm not using that part. I'm only just using the Winter Weather Mod. Turn right. So if it wants doing well. I do apologize for uh, no videos, guys. I've been um, having to work 12 hours a day. Turn right. He just have not had time to get him doing anything. Right. But we're back to normal now for our days. So hopefully we can get in here and uh, get back in here and start making you guys videos. Um, if you have not heard, SCS has announced that Wyoming is coming. The net one of the next states for next year for 2021 uh, they also said Texas is in the works um, there's a lot of things that they are working on they want to they're, they're going to redo um, California on the map going to rework it uh, there's a new multiplayer coming with mods uh, they want to vent the traffic that's um, one thing that they do want to work on there's something that they, uh, they hope they can do um, they're going to be bringing the need the cab options out for the Western Star and more trucks uh, for 2021. So um, the game has got a lot coming to it um, down the road, which is always good. Hoping this weather will get a little bit clearer so we can get a thumbnail. Yes, guy. I mean, like I said, the, the, there's a lot that SCS says they are working on, you know, to make this game better. Um, I, I'm not using any engine modded engine packs right now, because I, I kind of got to the point where the modded engine packs were, uh, you know, they, they would quit working when, when there was an update to come out. They wouldn't work even for these trucks or... If you are uh, either the model remove the engine packs, because mostly I would only get my engine packs from the Sting Workshop, and uh, you know even if they hit, if they remove them a lot of times they will, they will remove them completely and then the truck will crash. It won't work anymore. It's ready to crash your game, and the only way to fix it you have to uh, restart your game. So I kind of got tired of that, so I just decided to go with just using SCS engines, and then. I found this mod over on Mod Sites, ETS Mod Sites, is the name of the mod site for this engine pack, the sounds. Like I said, it doesn't sound too bad with this uh, 389, but some of these newer trucks like the Freightliner and you know, and the ones like that, it does, it's not really, it doesn't sound right. 
Uh, let me look and see where there's a fuel drop at. We got to get fuel. And we will have to get fuel. We can't. We're gonna have to go this way and get fuel. Unfortunately, I mean this. I don't think we're gonna make it there. Yeah. It is. It'll be a little bit more time on the video, but that's Drive okay. Safe. over this truck so everything's going good guys uh, like I said not my intentions I'm not getting anything out to you guys uh, not what I want to do um, because of the holidays and everything that's been going on you know the, I've been having to work more hours than what I want to work um, not by my choice so I do apologize for that I am trying to uh, Get in here and play more stuff for you. Do more things. But I haven't forgotten the two series that has that most of you guys watch on my channel. Which is uh, Mac Truck Simulator and Alice Pretty Far. That's the two series that I get the most views with. So that's why those those are on the channel more than anything else. Stay a little quiet so we can listen to that engine and see if it sound, how it sounds with this engine mod, the sound mod. The weather is moving out now, which is good. What time is it in the game? Oh, I hit the wrong button. It is. Ooh, gonna be. Hit it again. Trying to close it. It's about five o'clock in the afternoon. We may, may need to go ahead and get a thumbnail while we got a little bit of daylight. Sorry about that guy. I didn't mean to keep hitting that. Well, this way we can at least see the truck a little bit before it gets pitch dark and we can't see anything. Yeah, let's see if we can get your, go up a little bit. Yeah, that'd be good right there. Alright. I think that'll be okay. Jake Brake sound sounds pretty good in this truck, but see that sound you would not hear that sound in a th in a, like a, in one of the new uh, Kenmore. I mean one of the new uh, Freightliners. It would not sound like that. 
Which, you know, I, I'm not playing by the mod. I mean, at all. I mean, you know, y'all you know, know me, guys. I, I'm not playing by a, a mod like that. You know, it, it makes everything better. But. Right. Stop up here in bar and get right. some fuel. Exit right. Turn left. What a traffic out tonight. Get ready to turn right. Turn right and then turn right. Turn here. Don't want to hit that charger. Right here is where we need to go. Turn right. Stop here and get some fuel. Turn right. Let's fill it up. All right, she held two hundred and forty nine, two hundred and forty gallons of ninety four uh, cents on that uh, price was. Eight hundred and four dollars, and it was three dollars and thirty three thirty four cents a gallon. All right, so let's get on the roof. Get this fertilizer on down the roof. Taking the money out for that uh stuff, for that fuel. Guys, if you play this game and, you, and you're interested in joining one of my groups, just come on over. We, we'd love to have more members. Uh, Never mind. I'll find the groups are doing very well. So, just come on over and join. We, we would love to have more members. I don't know what that is. I'm still trying to figure out why it's doing that. I've went through everything. It's only ATS doing it too, so. Ready to turn right. Turn right. We got a fuel, a fuel, a full, full tank of fuel, and we'll uh, we'll be good for a while now on that. Glad the rain, the snow moved out of here. 
I actually turned it down so you know we can uh, get some clear turn driving. Right. We can turn it back up a little bit later. Um, if you're new over here and you're just now watching my ATS videos, I don't really use a lot of modded trucks. I will come out and tell you that right away. So if you come over here looking to you for about a lot of modded trucks, I don't use them. Um, I have nothing against modded trucks. I think the modders, they do a great job. They, they add a lot to this game that's not there. Through the SCS, I, I think, you know, what they do is, is awesome, you know, and do it for free. So there's nothing against their their work, it's just I prefer these trucks over what a lot of these mods are. Because some of these mods, they're just, uh, they're too insane. Um, of the customization and stuff that you would never see in real life. A lot of these drivers, you know, they, they even if they're on offer, they don't have money, you know, to do. Keep left. Keep left. Um, if, you, if you do watch my LSPDFR series, I have went back to Jurisdiction 4. Unfortunately, my add-on slots are not working. I really wish they was, but they're not working no more. After the last update, it did break the add-on slots mod that I was using. I don't know why. I don't know if it, it may be because I use um, the modding DLC pack. I, I don't know, but they won't work. So I had to go back to uh, just the regular slots that come in the game. Um, so, but we do have the add-on agencies back in, the extra agencies, which is great. Those are CHP. White Crown Vic. Just kind of being, being a little quiet. Uh, we'll roll the window down. Look. We're going to run into somebody first before we run and roll the window down. We're drunk. A little loud, that window down. Roll down just for a little bit and we'll roll it back up. There we go. Got the retarder. And then exit right. Exit right. So we're heading down the Go Phoenix. Straight on. Arizona. Also remember too guys, my driving is not the best in this because I am using a controller. I'm not using a um, a wheel or anything. I'm using a controller. So the driving is not the best. Keep left.
And guys, uh, I'm trying to figure out what that little bit of stutter is. I'm, I still haven't figured it out. I'm, it's, it's something to do with the latest, the latest updates and stuff that they've been doing ATS. Um, it's been, it's been like that ever since Colorado came out. So I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is. I've been going through the mods, trying to see if there is a mod in there that may be causing problems. And right now, I haven't found nothing. Let me know, guys, what you think about this engine sound. I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not bad. It is a mod. Um, it, it doesn't replace the engines. It just replaces the sounds of the, of the default engines in the game. We got 285 miles to go, and we're speeding our tail. Go straight on. Now the uh, SCS did release a uh, cabin accessory DLC. I mean, I did purchase it. Wouldn't be like five dollars. It really wasn't really that bad. Um, it added a few items. Um, oh, not what you sell a big selection but not bad I mean not a bad selection of items that uh, you can put on the inside of the cab of your truck um, and then the cab um, mod is out there the one that um, accessory mod it's uh, it has been updated now for the Western Star and the Freightliner it has a lot of different things and now more than what it did before because of the update in the in that DLC. And excuse me there, it's been a long day. And I'm speeding my tail off. <laughs> Better slow down. end up getting a ticket. But yes, guys, I, I don't know if you if any of you caught it, um, the live stream that SCS did do, a lot of the things that they did talk about, the, what they are working on for next year. Um, you know, as we we do know that there are two states coming, Wyoming and Texas. Um, me personally, I don't think we'll see Texas next year. If we do, it'd be very late in the year, probably December. Texas is a really big state than the work on so it's gonna take a while now excuse me Put the cruise control on and sit back and uh, just drive.
Just kind of being quiet, listening to the road, listening to the engine of the truck, looking at the sights. Um, another thing too, guys, is I um I did look at the new MHA Pro map. Uh, there was some texture issues up around in, in Colorado, so I didn't keep it in. You know, if anyone wants to use it, I, it is, has been updated. But for me, with some texture problems that was going on, I would think I'd keep it in. I done it again. And again. We're 173 miles out. Go straight on. My fault. I keep hitting the button. I'm trying to look at that, see how many miles we are, and I keep hitting the wrong button. Excuse me. scale. Let me get back over. Finding a new route. All right, we weighed 73,208 pounds. So I hope everyone's doing well. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Um, if you like the, the uh, videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. Uh, every time we do post, and I am trying to get in and do a lot more posting because it's exactly what I want to do. Uh, I'm trying to do it. Uh, I've been a little bit behind because, like I said, I had I had work 12 hours there for a while a day. Excuse me, at my job, and it, it really, I really didn't have time once I got off to do it, so, but I'm trying to uh, do more.
I don't think we'll make 75. <laughs> Wanna try? Speed limit is 75. I think this is the highest Cummins engine this truck comes with. I don't know if it's gonna make 75. I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's getting close. Yeah, there we go. Let's try to do this without opening the wrong thing. We done it again. Open the wrong thing. We're 80 miles out from our drop. Sorry about that, guys. I keep hitting the wrong button when I'm trying to open the uh, map, so you guys, can, so we can see how many miles we got left. love this game. I love to get in here and just drive and sit back and relax. I mean, you know, this is such a relaxing game. And the, and the long drives in here, it really relaxes you. I mean, because the only thing you have to deal with is you have to deal with a little bit of traffic. You know. And it's a, it's a very relaxing game to me. Exit right. So we're just about up here to our drop. Quick little run, just want to kind of explain everything. Go straight on. What's been going on with the channel and everything, and hopefully. Uh, hopefully 2021 will be a whole lot better year um, as far as content goes here on the channel and I'm, I'm really trying to get where I can uh, do a lot more I haven't got there yet I, I'm still trying um, to do it everything is not working out like I want it to doing that a little bit 
the stutters and what have we all run Jazzy Cat and stuff. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. I've, there's been reports that his stuff is don't do that no more, but I, I, I don't know. We're running his traffic mods and stuff. Ready to turn left. So let me know, guys, if, um, if you want to see more. There is some real texture mods out there that's come out for the new Freightliner. Um, you know, some other ones that I, I, that I do plan to do. And like I said, I would do a video on the Western Star. I would do a video on the uh, Freightliner. It's coming a little bit late. I mean, I know that. You know that. But that's okay. We're here. This is where it ends. Hey, uh, we got a load. Anyone out here? No. Okay. But over. You see anybody over there? No. Right. One in that corner. Now I don't use tractor R because I don't have it. So this is how I back a trailer. And, uh, you know, some people says it's cheating. Um, I don't think so. Like I said, I don't have a track R. It's hard because I use a controller to play this, so it's harder for me to use. And I can't turn my head without using the controller in the cab, so it's easier for me to do it this way. We knew better than that. Straightened up a little bit. Alright, we drove excellent. We drove 554 miles. It took us 11 hours and 53 minutes to get here. And we consumed 75.6 uh, gallons of fuel. And we're here.
some dry milk that's all they're carrying. So yeah, we'll, we'll I'll do that probably off camera, but do some dry milk. <clears throat> Alright guys, that's going to be it for this ATS video. We, we will be back for another video. Uh, like I said, we will run the new trucks uh, just as soon as I get a chance. Uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And have a good day.